Every 50 levels, we're gonna spin for a new fruit till we reach max. On the last episode, I was reading some of the comments and realized how all over the place my stats were. Oops. So let's just fix that up real quick and just balance that all out. There you go, much better. Now this time we actually kicked gravity out the wheel because we're only doing the good darkness fruits. Sorry, gravity. And yeah, now we're gonna spin and we're gonna start off with shadow fruit. Great. Yo, we just got Corvus Torment. Let me test it on this snow trooper over here. Corvus Torment. Oh, oh my God, that's actually OP. What? That's so good. It's like using multiple somber rebellions on multiple enemies. Very nice. Yo, snow troopers, I'm about to torment you with my Corvus. Hey, yo, why does that sound so sus? Bro, a deadly combo is Corvus torment and Umbridge, bro. The amount of damage is actually insane. All right, after we finish this quest, it should be time to spin. And it's now time to spin. It's between Venom and Dark. And we got Dark. Bro, how can they even see me? They're literally blindfolded. Look. And they look goofy with that mohawk. Since with Dark Fruit, I'm gonna mainly use the combat. I'm gonna go get Electric Fighting Style. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Back to C1 we go. Yo, look at my boat. He looks like he just saw a ghost. <laughs> my man is trembling. Did I just call my boat a man? Yes, I would like to learn Electric Fighting Style. Yo, my boat is having a panic attack. Bro, just get back in the water, man. My boat was fearing for its life. Bro, grinding with a Logia makes everything so much easier. But we're gonna have to spin now because we reached level 1,100. Even though Venom is the last fruit, spinning is satisfying. So I'm just gonna spin. And yeah, Venom, one of my favorite fruits. And we are heading to hot and cold where some places are hot and some places are cold. I'm glad I got Venom to grind these guys and not anything else. All right, let me see how OP the transformation is against the lab subordinates. Let me just group them all up like this. Transformation. Yo, man, I gotta love the transformation, bro. It is so OP. Like, to be honest, bro, I feel bad for the NPCs right now. Imagine being attacked by a giant dragon who spits poison at you. Poor NPCs. <laughs> Yo, chill. I'm just trying to grind, man. Oh my god, bro. He just dashes onto me and then starts comboing me like crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eat my poison, bro. Eat it. Welcome, my dear sir, to the path of poison. Walk through the path of poison so that you can die. Bro, watch what happens every single time. Every single time, even with a hockey, bro. They do that dashing thing and then they just combo me. And I don't like it one bit. It should be about time to spin very, very soon. How many levels? All right, one more level left. Bro, if I'm using Serpent's Wrath, I have to, like, dodge them. Even if I try to dodge them, it still doesn't even work, bro. All right, we've passed 50 levels. Let's go spin that wheel. All right, we got Dark. I can't believe that I was having problems with dudes who literally have frozen bird wings for hair. Imagine, man. Now, I would go ahead and just grind these dudes, but the thing is... Their ice thing is just way too annoying. But I could try, I guess. And they give much more XP too. So I guess it's worth it. Even though I take damage from their effect, if I just hit them a little bit with the M1 attack, I can do a stomp, electric tackle, and then electric floor. Easy. Because if I don't do that, you know what happens? I get stuck in an endless loop of just getting iced. That's just way too much, man. All right, after doing this for a while, it's now time to spin. Since I've unlocked all the moves on all the fruits, from now on, I'm just going to be spinning every 100 levels instead of every 50 levels. Since I got the shadow fruit, instead of wasting my time grinding the magma ninjas three at a time or eight of them, I'm going to instead grind the smoke admiral when he finally stops sleeping and then just server hop him. That's the game plan. The smoke admiral finally spawned in. Let's get him. So far, he's actually pretty easy, man. I can just do Corvus Torment down here. A Shade's Nest. Nightmare at least for that health. Whoa, what? That was weird. All right, Samba Rebellion again. And Umbridge. That was an easy boss fight, bro. Probably because I had enough health this time, though. Unlike the last video. <laughs> Yo, while I was server hopping, this guy wants to fight me, man. He picked the wrong fight today, bro. Oh, now you want to run away. Oh, he's trying to run away. He's trying to run away. Come on. You're not going to get away from me, man. Yeah, he's so close to die. And I got him. Let's go. I am Shadow Bacon. Anyways, the Smoke Admiral does not want to spawn in here, so I'm going to switch servers again. Yo, I'm going to try to steal this guy's boss kill. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Oh my god, bro. This guy has no fruit, though. Oh my god. Well, what is this? 
Whoa, whoa. Oh, I still killed him, though. I still got the boss kill, even though he killed me. <laughs> I know that stealing bosses is a scummy thing to do, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Bro, hot and cold is actually taking a while, man. I did not expect it to take this long, bro. Like, I'm not even doing the regular quests. I'm just boss grinding, and it's still taking all this time. You buy an XP boost really quickly, and then finish him off. Bro, that should give me at least like six levels or something, man. Three by three every single time is not enough. I need more. Faster, faster. Bro, I keep on joining servers and he's just not there. And it's actually currently 12, 10 a.m. for me right now. I have to sleep soon because I'm getting tired. But before I sleep, I want to reach level 1,300. Bro, he's still not here, man. But it's okay because as long as you can subscribe and hit that bell icon, it'll all be worth it. Okay, I'm going to try one last server. If he's not there, I'm just going to go to sleep. Bro, he's not here, man. All right, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. See you guys in the morning. The next day. Okay, so it's now the next morning, and I realized something. The time it takes to actually find that boss by server hopping and then killing that boss is not worth the XP points. And I might as well just grind these guys with an XP boost and get more quests done than to sit and keep on server hopping for that guy over there. We can finally leave hot and cold, and we're on our way to the cursed ship. Let's see how cursed this place really is. Ooh, scary. I hope I don't see a ghost, because I might just pee my pants. I mean, I am holding one right now. So far, all I see these guys do is chase and punch. And I'm liking that, because it makes grinding easy. Unlike the dudes at Cold and Hot, who are sending, like, ice spikes at you, whatever they're called, man. That stuff was driving me crazy. But this, this is light work. It's about to be 100 levels. So after I finish this quest, it's time to spin. Hmm. What fruit can we possibly get? Venom. Both the shadow fruit and the venom fruit, I feel really belong in this ship. Like, it just matches this area so perfectly. Excuse me, uh, steward? That stew that you made for me, it didn't taste that good. And now, I think I have to burp. No, no, man. Please, don't smell my burp. Don't smell it. No, now you're gonna die. Aw, he smelled my burp and he died. Oops, sorry. I wonder if my transformation can fit inside of here. Transformation. Okay, I actually do fit. That's nice. All right, it's time to go to the ice castle. We finally made it. And I instantly got a burst of cold. One of the things that I love in Blocks Fruits is when you have to kill eight NPCs and four of them spawn all nearby each other. And something I like even more is when the NPCs are so easy to grind. Just like this. I already finished the quest. <laughs> Frost Quest Giver. Man, he looks angry. I mean, I would be angry too if I was forced to stand out here in the cold with only this. Snow Lurkers. The Lurkers of the Snow. Now, these guys, I don't like them. First off, I have to do all of this, like, obstacle dodging and stuff just to get to one dude. And second of all, they're one of the guys who summon ice from the ground, or whatever it's called, man. See that? I hate that stuff, man. And even if you have a hockey, it doesn't even work to block it, you see? Bro, why is this guy running in place? I think he disconnected. All right, I'm gonna see if I can just, like, keep a distance and use the stuff that deals damage from far away. Okay, so I just killed an NPC and I got a hidden key. I don't really know what I do with this, but let me just look it up real quick. Okay, it says that I can obtain something called the Ren Goku Sword. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's actually over here. Um, oh, I found it. It's right here. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm pretty sure I gotta do like this. Okay, so I got it. The Ren Goku Sword. Yo, this looks cool. Okay, let's see what this can do. Oh yeah, I have to put stat points in my sword. Okay, I killed him. Damn, so I need 150 mastery in order to get the Demon Slayer. Okay, so I'm gonna save this sword for a future video. Okay, so we should be about level 1,400, I think. Yup, we reached it, guys. It's now time to spin. Yo, what? We spin Venom again? Okay, I'll take it. Yo, look, I found an even better way to grind them, man. Just do like this, and then make them stand there in your poison. And their effect doesn't even work on you, too. Before I go to the Forgotten Island first, I'm gonna beat the Awakened Ice Admiral. Let me see how good he is against Venom. Whoa, what? What is this? Damn, this guy's actually pretty good. Oh my god, I'm almost dead, bro. I'm so close to dying. I have to keep on moving, bro. All right, kill him. Oh my god, he's actually good. Anyways, Forgotten Island, here we come. Bro, where on earth are the sea soldiers, man? I can't find them anywhere. Oh, I found them. They're all the way down here. Why? Let's see what they can do. 
Oh, he sends some, like, thing. Some, like, air thing at the thing. I, I, I don't even know, bro. Oh my god, it's not it's not fun. It's not fun, bro. Okay, so since these dudes are hard to grind, I'm just gonna go back to the ice castle and grind the dudes over there. Okay, so I think it's gonna be time to spin after this quest. But it depends how much levels I get. Okay, so not exactly yet, but next quest is gonna be time to spin. And it's now time to spin. Alright, it's between dark and shadow. Who are we gonna get? I'm hoping for shadow. Come on, shadow. Yes, we got shadow. Congratulations. Save and talk to the NPC jailed in Colosseum. Alright, bet guys. After we do this, we're gonna go to C3. Hey, Bartilo. Me and you have some important business to settle, man. Defeat 50 swan pirates. Yes, boss. And also, let me test my luck real quick. Please don't disappoint me, Zeolus. Please. Um... Very funny, dude. Ah, grind, sweet grind. Couldn't have been more easier. And we finished the quest. Now Bartilo wants us to kill Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, what's up, man? I learned a new trick, man. It's called Corvus Torment. Like it? Look at him, man. He has no hope. And I think that's it, man. It's over. Ah, you have defeated me. Very well. I was brought into the Swan Pirates family and given the position of Colosseum Director. I have been rigging the event so that my fighters always win. Damn, my man just got caught in 4K. When you find Master Swan, tell him I have failed him. Will do, boss. Will do. Hey, Bartilo. I did it, man. I did it. So now we have to go and free the dudes in Colosseum or whatever. Okay, and B. There you go, I did it. We are free at last. Please, sir, take this helmet as a token of our appreciation. I look so goofy. <laughs> okay, so now I have to fight Don Swan. All right, bet. And the good thing is that we already have a fruit worth over a million, which is the quake. Bring me an expensive locks for to prove yourself worthy of speaking to Swan. All right, here. Take my quake, sir. You may now speak to Swan. Okay, let's do this. Okay, Swan. Are you ready, bro? We're gonna fight now, man. Corvus Torments. He's going crazy in the air, doing all this damage to Swan. He doesn't stand a single chance against Shadow, bro. He just regenerated, man. Bro, I got him that low and he starts to regenerate. Are you kidding me? Whoa, 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 whoa. I just did one move and he went crazy on me, bro. Bro, I gotta keep on my hockey. I take it off for a second and I'm already suffering. He was surprisingly pretty good, but we got him, bro. Now I can talk to this dude over here. He's sad. He wants me to go disrespect Rip Indra. Okay, man, we're gonna fight Rip Indra now. Yo, what's up, Rip Indra? I never fought this guy before, so I don't know what to expect. As long as I keep on... As long as I keep on moving and I keep my hockey on, I think I'm going to be fine, though. He doesn't seem to be as hard as Swan was. Corvus Torment. I'm a rebellion. Leech of Nightmares. What just happened? Okay, now I got a cutscene. Ooh, we got an ultimate battle here. Him versus the guy who was sad. Okay, okay. That's why he was sad. Because he got destroyed by Rip Indra. <laughs> just drops him into a black hole. Talk to Mr. Captain at Green Zone. All right, bet. All right, man. I'm excited. We're going to go to the third C. Yes. Let's go. The third C. Hey, we made it. Bro, these NPCs have got to be the most annoying ones I've ever fought, bro. They literally don't even give you a break. I'm just trying to get a break, bro. Come on. Oh, my God. Relax. Finally. I finished the quest. Oh my god. I don't even know if I should even keep grinding these guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna go back to the second C, man. I'm not gonna fight these guys anymore. All right, so it's been a while and I've been grinding these sea soldiers. And not gonna lie, it wasn't really fun, but it's all good. Because at least it wasn't the millionaire ones. The factory opened up, and even though it doesn't really matter much, I still want to try to get a fruit. Come on, man. We're almost done with it. Oh my god. Are you kidding, bro? A falcon fruit, dragon crew warriors. Okay, so first off, we have to kill A and only three are around here. So after I kill all these three, I have to go all the way there and kill that one by itself and then come back all the way here again and then kill these three again. Bro. And second of all, why are they holding the sword like that? Hey, yo. Let me see what they do. Oh. <laughs> no. Is that dangerous or not? Nah? Oh my god. I judged the book by its cover. I wasn't thinking it was going to do anything. I was hoping that it just chases me with the sword. But it does way more than just that, man. Oh, and I can't even grind with shadow effectively. Yo, this NPC's in the floor. She's, she's supposed to spawn all the way there. Why is she all the way here? Bro, what? Look how fast it's moving. Okay, there you go. It's fixed now. After going insane grinding these crazy NPCs, I finally reached level 1,600. So I can now go spin. 
Look at all the possible fruits that we can get. We got dark, 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 and we got dark. Now that we're using a Logia, we can grind the Pirate Millionaires. Since it's still a lot of XP and we have elemental immunity. Because I was not having fun grinding those girl NPCs. They was doing some crazy moves. I wonder why they call these guys millionaires. He doesn't really look like a millionaire to me. If they were really millionaires, then they wouldn't be trying to fight me right now. Yo, millionaires. I have money for you, okay? It's right inside of my dark bomb over here, man. Right, there's money. Oh, lots of money everywhere. <laughs> I find it ironic that the Guest Giver looks more like a millionaire than those guys. And he's just a Guest Giver. So after grinding the Pirate Millionaires for a little bit, we've managed to surpass 100 levels. What are we gonna get? Ooh, Shadow again. So I read on the wiki that grinding at the Great Tree is painful. So let's see if they're right. Okay, so they do seem to have aura. That's not good news. And they are pretty spread apart. That's not good either. Other than the fact that only three spawn in a certain area, they don't seem to be that hard. Now that guy despawned all the way back here for some reason. And that I don't like. But it's not that bad, you know. At least compared to the other girl NPCs. Now I know what the wiki was talking about. These guys, the marine rear admirals. Oh my god, bro. You know what? Let's just do show, not tell, okay? I just want to show you. I want to show you why this place sucks. Here's an example real quick. That is unavoidable. I have a hockey on, and it makes no difference. Literally, I can't do anything to block that, bro. And the damage is insane. I'm already this low. Bro, no, 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 no. I'm done, bro. I'm leaving this place. Bro, the dev that made that is insane. I don't know what he was thinking. Like, I've never seen a Roblox avatar who has a fist. It literally looks like PewDiePie's old profile picture. And yeah, it should be time to spin now. 1,800. We haven't gotten Venom in a while, so... I would like to have Venom, maybe... Okay, sure, let's go. Venom. Even though these guys are called Fishman Raiders, I'm gonna call them Fishman Hulks. Because they literally look like Hulk. What I don't like about grinding these guys is how I have to get all four of them to come right over here. Because if they don't, what's gonna happen is one of them is gonna teleport all the way back. Like what just happened with that guy. It just delays the process, you know? Bro, I think I just discovered a glitch. Look, if I try to hit this guy with my electric, it doesn't work. Even with Aura. He's not even taking any damage. I don't know what the problem is, man. In fact, it doesn't work with any of these guys. What? Why? It was working perfectly fine before. It works only with the moves. That's super weird, bro. Fishman captains are actually pretty good to grind. I can gather all four of them, do poison daggers, and the noxious shot. Put them on top of the puddle of poison, do toxic fog, and then electric floor. Easy. Now, the good thing is that floating turtle actually takes a long time to finish, but the NPCs are not very hard. Yo, so ever hate it when you try to group up the NPCs? And then one dumb NPC decides to just walk away like that guy? Like, I don't know what's going through their head, man. He's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk away. Like, bro, I'm working hard to group you guys up. Please don't walk away. Yo, can somebody tell me who decided to put green arrow into Blocks Fruits? Like, what's next? The whole DC Comics and Marvel Universe? I had fun chilling with Venom, but we passed 100 levels. So it's time to spin. Okay, so we're obviously gonna get the Dark Fruit since it's the only thing left on the wheel. Ba-bam. Dark Fruit. At first, you would think that these are some, like, innocent bunny ear girls who pop after you asking if you have, like, a spare carrot or something. But you know what you're met with? Some crazy acrobatic tornado kicks and spins and some dashing combat combos. Like, I don't know if I should call these guys jungle pirates or female bunny Bruce Lees. Definitely not what I expected, man. Like, these aren't bunnies. These are bullies. Finally, I get immunity from these bullies. Haha, -ha, who's the bully now? That's what I thought. And we've passed 100 levels. Bring me the wheel. What could we possibly get? Dark again? Okay, I'll take it. These have got to be the best NPCs I've ever had to grind in Blocks Fruits, man. First off, they're easy to kill. Like, super easy. And second of all, all four of them spawn next to each other. And you know I love that. So it basically matches all of my grinding criteria. But it's missing only one little thing. And that's being the Guest Giver around the area. What I don't like is that the Guest Giver is all the way here. But hey, I mean, I guess not everything can be perfect. But so far... It's perfect enough. Bro, he looks goofy though. Like, look at this guy. Oh, he does the same move as the bunny girl. Bro, he has like tiny little twigs, man. Twig sticks for legs. 
Boy, what's that kick supposed to do to me, man? <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons send shivers down your spine. They're definitely sending shivers down my spine right now. Ooh, what's this? Click to interact. You see a gravestone. Try luck, pray. Huh? Okay, try luck. Nothing happened. Come back another night. Pray. Nothing happened. What? Okay, I'm genuinely confused on what this actually is. Like, what is this supposed to be? You have found some bones? Give me 20 bones. I think I have to give the bones to this guy. He got some bones. Yeah. Currently have 73 bones. You can purchase up to 10 times every two hours. Yes. Buy it for 50. I earned some fragments. Okay, cool. This place is actually pretty interesting. C3 definitely has a lot of surprises, man. Okay, so we've completed 100 levels. Let's spin. I kind of want to get Shadow, and our wish has come true. Okay, so I noticed something a little funny. So you remember how the bunny girls were named Jungle Pirates, and they looked the complete opposite? Well, for these guys, they're called Peanut Scouts, but they look like they want to rip you to shreds. And I find it a little funny how the devs love to name these guys and make them look the opposite. Anyways, I discovered a more OP way to grind that I wish I discovered this a little bit earlier. So what you gotta do is you gotta get them a little bit low and then do a Corvus Torment. And while they're in the air being tormented, you do an electric floor. Boom, they all just die. I wish I did this early, bro. It would have saved me a lot of time. The peanut guest giver looks very formal. He looks like a, I will give you a guest for peanuts. I don't feel really well. Ugh. Now either this is some peanut butter some mango juice or some tropicana but whatever it is i want to dive straight into it oh man these are some big nuts over here hey yo anyways we've passed 100 levels so it's time to spin the last fruit we got is venom i got that adrenaline momentum venom not knowing when i'm ever gonna slow up venom Yo, forget the skeletons. These guys are even better. First off, look how easy it is to group them up. And second, they don't even do anything. They have like no skill. All they do is just chase. Like, so what if they have aura? No moves, no nothing. My new favorite NPC to grind. When you see this guy, what do you think? Treat stealer, candy thief, goody destroyer. You know what they're called? Cookie crafters. Bro. The devs have done it again, giving them names that don't match their look at all. Level 2300. Almost all the NPCs have aura, so whatever we get, I don't want dark. Oh. Honestly, I'm convinced that almost all the NPCs in the Sea of Treats are actually easy. Because these guys, all they do is chase. Yeah, they have aura, but who cares? And to be honest, it does make sense as to why the devs would make it easy. I mean, you did spend like a long time to get to this spot anyways. So you might as well just make it easy. Because you're almost about to reach max. Thank God they made it easier, man. Or else I'm gonna have to throw some hands. Yo, let's go for this trick shot, alright? Spin, spin, spin. And... Oh, we got him. Now that was kind of cool. If you like the ideas of doing more creative trick shots and blocks fruits, I actually have an entire video just for that. So be sure to go check that one out if you haven't already. And this should get us to level 2400. And yeah, okay. It's time to spin. Okay, so I'm starting to like shadow a little bit more than Venom now. So I would really appreciate it if I can just roll a shadow. Thank you. The last dudes before we reach max. A quick trick that you can use if you're trying to group up the NPCs faster is to have a gun on you. Because then you can just shoot the guy there and he can just come towards you. Bro, Shadow Fruit is honestly pretty good for grinding. I mean, I can just do like this. And I finished the quest so fast. Very underrated. I'm glad that I was able to basically get this done on the day of my birthday. Now, I was hoping to reach 100k by my birthday, but it's alright. I kind of wanted it as a birthday gift, but we'll have to see what happens. And yeah, guys, max level. We made it. If you haven't seen part one yet and you want to, then go ahead and check that one out. But anyways, guys, have a good day or night.